Little Menlo, October the 5th, 1888. Phonogram, Guru to Edison. Dear Edison, I propose to conclude a most interesting and agreeable evening, so far as I am concerned, by introducing to you a few friends who have honored me this evening by their presence here. Each of them has expressed a desire to say a few words to you, and I am sure you will be glad to hear their voices, as I am glad to be the medium of communicating them to you. Need I say, through your marvelous phonograph. And who better could answer for music than that distinguished composer, Sir Arthur Sullivan, and to whom the phonograph takes this earliest opportunity of expressing its delight at the great success achieved but a few nights since by that distinguished composer's latest production, The Yeoman of the God. Lord Loon, who fled from the mocking throng, oh, it's a song of a merry man, a moping mum, whose soul was sad and whose glance was glum, who tipped no stop and who craved no crumb, but he died for the love of a lady. Hey, de, hey, de, misery me, black and lady, he tipped no stop and he craved no crumb, but he died for the love of a lady.
We will now pass on to the next phonogram, which will begin with a record that I am sure you will receive with infinite delight. Knowing your love for music, I need only say that the record will be the voice of the great composer, Sir Arthur Sullivan, whose music is as well known in America as it is in England, and as well loved by those who know it. Little Menlo, October 5th, 1888, from Guru to Edison, continuation of introduction of prayer. Now listen to the voice of Sir Arthur Sullivan. Dear yeah, Mr. Edison, if my friend whom Edmund Yates has been a little incoherent, it is in consequence of the excellent dinner and good wine that he has drunk. Therefore, I beg you will excuse him. He has his lucid interval. For myself, I can only say that I am astonished and somewhat terrified at the result of this evening's experiment. Astonished at the wonderful power you have developed, and terrified at the thought that so much hideous bad music may be put on record forever. But all the same, I think it is most wonderful thing that I have ever experienced, and I congratulate you with all my heart on this wonderful discovery. Arthur Sullivan.
from the provinces, who dresses like a guy, and who doesn't think she was, says, but rather nice to try. And that singular anomaly, the lady motorist, I've got her on the wrist, I don't think she'd be me. She's got her on the wrist, she's got her on the wrist, and I don't think she'd be I'm sure not And that nice I try of Newton, who just now is rather ripe, the judicial humorist, I've got him on the list. All funny fellows, comic men, and clowns of private life, <laughs> let none of them be missed, let none of them be missed, and apologetic statesmen of a compromising kind, such as, uh, what do you call him, uh, Sigma Bob, and likewise, oh, never mind, and, and uh, what's his name, and uh, also you know who, the task of filling up the blanks I'd rather leave to you, but it really doesn't matter whom you put upon the list, for there's none of them be missed. There'd none of them be me. You may put them on the list, you may put them on the list, and they're not a bit of a 